Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Matt. And, and we're, we're the Beer Mats. Beer Mats, Beer, Beer Mats. Beer Mats, Beer, Beer Mats. Beer Mats, Beer. On today's episode of Beer Mats, we're going to be drinking Spartan's Oktoberfest beer. This is actually the fifth of the six breweries allowed to sell beer at Oktoberfest. I'm looking forward to this one. No, uh, me as well. It's one of the ones that I don't really know a lot about prior to researching for this episode. Okay. It's not one that I've seen in the UK ever before, but I don't know what to expect. No, I've never seen this in the shops in the UK either. This is a completely new beer on me, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Should be a good episode. Well, first things first, we're going to start off with some facts on the beer. Yes, we are. Um, so you've been researching today, Matt. Yep. Let's, let's start with some, what have you got for us? The first thing to know is the brew itself originated, well, can be traced back to 1397. Okay, very old. It was one of the smaller breweries for a very long time. Mm -hmm. until around 1807 when it was taken over by a Gabriel Sedlmeyer. So again, apologies if I get the pronunciation wrong. Cool. Uh, so in 1807, he took on the brewery, and 60 years later, it was actually the largest of the Munich-based breweries. Wow, okay. Yeah. And its logo pays homage to him, as on the top of the logo, you will see there's a G and an S, which is his initials, and there is a malt shovel, which he gets in there from because Spartan translates to spade shovel in English. Oh, okay. So that's where the name comes from. Go get your And that was in 1884. 1884. That, that logo came about. So I've been going for hundreds of wow. years without it, and then it was decided to go with that. Some years later, it was the only German beer to win a gold medal at the Paris World Exhibition. Ten years following that, it was the first Munich brewery to brew a light beer, and this was in the Pilsner style, which is, now, which is now, yeah, it's, I actually really love my Pilsners, um, much like the Hellers that we know today. That's what Hellers the beers. name is, yeah. yeah. Hellers is the Pilsner, essentially. And then in 1997, Spartan actually merged with Lohenbrau. I think it's strange how, isn't it, you've got the six breweries that all sell there, but I think Paul Arner's got a link to Hackers 4, if I remember rightly. I think that, and thanks, yeah. the Lowen Brow and Spartan. Spartan. You know what I mean? It's weird that they still have the six brands, even though a lot of them are merging together, owned by the companies, etc. It just shows how they're trying to keep the tradition going. I really love the Lowen Brow Oktoberfest beer, so if this is anything like that, yeah. I think I'm really going to like it. I've liked them too. all so far. Yeah. I think the best thing now, though. We get to drink we it. We get to drink it. That's the next bit. That's the best bit. Let's get cracking. Well, I think the score-wise, in terms of who's got the best pour, we're on 3-1 now, with three yeah, being me. Yeah, bring it up, bring it up. You won the one where I poured that ginormous head in the first episode. Yes, the kiss backstage one, yeah. So, let's see what I can do now. You're the best around. Can't keep you down. I think this is going to be a close one. That's too... It's... I'm going to give it a tie. I think we should spl split the point. No, I'm actually going to concede. Yes! Yours... Back in the game! <laughs> Let's look at it again very quickly. Yours is actually much more lively than mine. Yours has kept the head as well. Mine, My head has already gone down a bit. Three, we're, going, we're going with a 3-2 on that. Two. Best bit of the show. Let's try the beers. Frost. Frost. Mm. Not as sweet as the low and brow. Not as sweet as the low and brow. I must say, I do like it. It doesn't leave a residue. I think it goes down really smoothly. It is very smooth and really smooth. I mean, it's got that in common with the other beers that we've tried so yeah. far. Yeah, light, mm -hmm. very refreshing. Yeah, I would say very refreshing. I think mine's fortunate because for some reason mine's kept its life, yeah. whereas you're having the issue I had on the low and brow episode. Yeah, my head's already going. And is it affecting your judgment on it? No, because it's still. Oh, okay, it's, it's just still a very petty. tasty beer. No, because I can see that yours is is maintaining it, so it's either really? it's either my pour Do you want or. A Take that over. Yeah, get a quick shot of that. This is probably the nicest first sip I've had. Oh, that's opinion. interesting. Like, for me, this was the one that went down best. You know what, actually, I have to agree. I think this is, like, maybe the, the largest gulp that I took yeah. um, out of all the beers well, that we tried so far. Get through it. Yeah, you're already pretty pretty far down that one. I wonder where it lies on the lightness when compared to Low I and think brow. it's up there with Low and Brow. Definitely think it's up there with Low and Brow. Um, darker than darker Polana. Than Polana. Yeah. I think Half Brow was similar. It looks clearer. This is going to sound silly, but it looks really clear. Yeah, I wonder if... Can people at home... Can you see me through... No. <laughs> that was stupid. What was <laughs> can you see me through this people, people narrow glass? <laughs> I, I'm blinking. Can you tell? I'm really hungry. Mm. That actually leads perfectly well into the website for Spartan. Their website is really good. It gives you about eight or nine recipes for food that you can do with using a bit of the beer. But it's stuff like um, there was prawns, sausages, even strudel. Like a variety of different foods to like cook with. And I thought that was actually quite a clever little thing to do because I did look and think, oh, I'd give that a try. It's interesting to see what the Germans do eat with their beer because I suppose... In England, it's as soon as I get a couple of lagers down me, it's, yeah. it's that typical thing of, 
I could really go for a curry. Yeah, this this would go so well with a curry. Indian food and light lager. Yeah. They just, they just they, go hand they, in hand. It's one of the best things about the 21st century, in my opinion, and the 20th. Yeah. <laughs> out of all the Oktoberfest beers I've tried so far, and when doing the research, we always try and go to the source. Theirs has been the best so far, and it gives you a good little timeline as well, separately to just their bits of history. Well, you say we... I mean, with beer mats, Matt does all the research. Yep. He does all the to- deciding what beers we're going to drink, and I just do the filming and editing and yes. getting it on YouTube. <laughs> so really, it's, it's it's a good split. It's a it's a good split for me because when he's doing all the camera work, I just drink. Yeah. I'll ask you the age-old question: Would you recommend this to people? Oh, 100%. percent. Yeah. Uh, we've not tried a beer yet that I wouldn't recommend. We've been fortunate. I think the five so far have been really nice and definitely worth recommending. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm more likely to go with the Lone Brow. Go with the Lone Brow. This was my favourite beer that we drank so far. This is similar, so I, I would drink this again. And if I saw it in a shop, I would definitely pick this up. I must up. say, what I'm impressed by as well is the fact that the lines are following it down. With yours. Which I str- oh, yeah, I think, you, I think you've had a bit of an issue with uh, maybe the glass. I mean, or... it's still, still lively. It's though. still lively. This, it's still bubbling. Um, there's not much head, really, but... The the lines going down like a ladder. I've always been taught, with, say taught, <laughs> gather round, son. No, um, <laughs> always been shown that that's a good sign of a good beer. So okay. to get it from a bottle as well is very impressive. And that's actually, for me, increasing my enthusiasm for it. I mean, that's an interesting thought. So far, we all we've really drank is bottled beer. Mm. I guess at some point, we're going to have to try maybe some canned beer, maybe some beer, beer from a keg. Yes. Um, as well as draft, you know. We yeah, really we, need to... we are going to try and get about to a few places. Yep. And invest, yeah, give some investigation. So as a beer mats kind of announcement, we've yep. only just found this out this week. Uh, we've been given permission uh, to go and film at a local beer festival. So we're going to be going around, hopefully doing some interviews, trying a lot of beers, yes. giving some thoughts. And it's going to be like Speaks beer mats on the go, really. Yeah. Yep. Interesting to see local brewers. <laughs> brewers? <laughs> brewers? There's actually a, a Wolverhampton-based brewery now that I've tried a couple. Yep. It's, it's called Bruff's. I, it's really nice. And I've I tried really their like I've it. tried their pilsner, and I love my pilsner. Oh, I've not tried the pilsner. And yeah, they've got a pilsner, and they've got their a, gold ale. They've got a pale ale. Yeah. So I'm really hoping they're going to be there. I was at a music festival not long ago doing some filming, and I managed to I don't know how I managed this, but I got given like a backstage wristband which gave me free drinks for the entire day. I know how he did it. Ben, who did the music one of our episodes, was playing at said festival, and essentially offered Matt, if you come and take pictures for us, I'll get you in for free. You had the perk of the beer as well, which I was really annoyed by because I had to pay for every drink that night. And he's walking around taking six pictures and it's, well, time to hit the bar. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> Nonsense, that was. <laughs> Broke my wallet, that did. <laughs> but I was really lucky in that they had a bar set up and that was completely provided by Bruffs. So oh, they, was it? Yeah, they had Pilsner Great. and they had their Pale Ale on draft. So all day long I got to... So point Pale after Ale point after lovely. point. Tried that at uh, another festival, at a food festival around here. We've got lots of festivals at the moment. I, I tried it there also. It's really yeah, good. It's, no, really it's, good. it's really good. And it's, it's kind of like it makes you a bit proud because they're they're from the local area and they're putting out something quite, that's really good quality. We're quite fortunate because we've had them and Banksy's. <laughs> so just in case we missed it, because we kind of went off on a couple of tangents <laughs> a tangent there. there yeah. We recommend that you buy this beer. It's the, the, I've finished it before the video. I, which yeah, typically gonna... for me, I'll you know keep it going, chat away, have a sip. No, really like this. The Hofbrau set a really good standard for me. Okay. I really enjoyed the Hofbrau. Yeah, I thought, you really liked the Hofbrau. For me, I was so surprised with how much I liked it. Did you give it an 8.5? I gave an 8.5. Mm. This is going to be in the same vein for me. Oh, well, don't ruin it. We'll stop because we've got to give you the facts, which is 5.9%. So it's a lower alcohol content. Lower, so you could have more. Which I think is good for what I've said about being a summer beer because you find you're drinking more in the hot weather. Mm-hmm. It's better to be 5.9 neck and them away as opposed to 6.1. Okay, that 0.2% makes a difference. I want to try a night where we go through more than one of the same beer. I want to do it with a group of people though. Yes. I think we should do just a... But I mean, so we drink one, but I'd like to see whether we still have that same thought after drinking three of the same beer. Good thinking. Again, tangent. (laughs) Yeah, but we will discuss this more. It's time to do the scores. (laughs) (laughs) That's all we want me to do. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. So as I just mentioned, it's... uh... It's time to do the scores. It's time that we give these beers a score. But I'm going to take the lead because you know what my score is. I've got a feeling I know what you're going to... It wasn't better than the half-brow, but it was by no means worse. 
8.5. Okay, no, I, I, I expected that and yeah, I... I really liked it. So, for me, I know I haven't sort of seemed like I, I'm in love with this beer as much as it, mm. the Lone Brow, but I feel like it's a good quality beer. It, it, it combines what I loved about the Lone Brow it's with, definitely also have a drink. with what I liked about the Hoff Brow. I feel like it's, it's almost a combination of the two. So I'm going to give it an 8. Good score. Very so, good score. what do we do? Do we jump up to an 8.5 or... I don't want to go into the realms of 0.25s. I'm going to say because you won the pour off today. Okay. I'm going to let you choose whether we go 8 or 8.5 and I'll respect whatever you go with. I'm going to go, I'm not even going to think about it, 8.5 then. If we go, if you're allowing me to give the choice, if I get the sway boat, I really enjoyed all these beers. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Paul on a day to day. I drink that. I thought the actual was different and I really enjoyed what was, it was completely separate to it all was, these no, being the yeah. Mars and, as opposed it's to different, the best beer. Different taste to the rest of the exactly beers Exactly, well had. I, I like that. I really like the low and brown, but it's more sweet, which so for the past 10 minutes, we've just been talking without realizing that the yeah. camera had switched off. Um, I can promise you that that 10 minutes was pure comedy gold and probably the best stuff that we've ever filmed for beer mats. We were up there with levels of Monty Python hilarity. I wish you could just, have, I wish you could I have, wish seen, you could have it. seen it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No. I mean, it'll never happen Sets again. Really, yeah, doesn't we, it? we were on the roll. We best just end the series now. <sighs> Goodbye, beer mats. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> So now that we've had sort of five of the six, I imagine we're going to be doing an Augustina next. Is that is that right? Have we got an Augustina coming up? You, you are right, but um, I have to mention now, I've searched the internet trying to find their Oktoberfest beer, as all the breweries make specific beer for Oktoberfest. Augustina does not appear to sell it, as in purchase it. Or not. It's just I'm really like, hard to find. Really hard to find. I think maybe it's just, they might just make it purely for the festival. It might be just cost effective for them. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, so it's not something we've been able to retrieve. However, we do have their Hellers, which is again, the Munich version or German version of a Pilsner, mm -hmm. which we are going to try. But for that episode, we're going to have a guest who is a good friend Jade. So a woman. And her husband Rob. Will be joining us soon. And they've been, I would just say, fantastic support for us. I mean, and then we've also got our friend Will, who again is non-stop liking, sharing everything. And he's going to join us for another episode. He's the official beer, Matt's barber. Oh, exactly. I mean, you, he's had a haircut, I haven't. But exactly. he, yeah, so he's... Rough. But yeah, so he's going to be joining us for another episode. So out of the eight we purchased for the upcoming episodes, we'll have three guests and we're really looking forward to it. It'll be good to get different opinion live on camera. Exactly. I mean, as we're already talking about coming up episodes, uh, we filmed a Beer Max Extra, which is coming out very soon. Um, probably come out actually before this episode. Yeah. Just to sort of show you the beers that we've got coming up over the next month to month and a half. But we'll probably take a pause in that because we've got Halloween coming up. Yes, we do. And we decide on a Halloween beer. We've got an idea of what we're going to try. Yeah, we're not going to say it now, even though if you're from the UK, you probably have know no what beer we're going to have. It comes out this time of year. Well, they sell it throughout the year, but they go on a big drive. I mean, our local pub, yeah, it'll be on draft. It'll be, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all we've got to yep. say. That's all the housekeeping. So, I really enjoyed this beer. Fantastic. Buy definitely, Spartan. definitely buy it. Top, top beer, 8.5. And I guess that's it from the beer mats. Bye. Thank you for watching.